Good morning, everybody. We're going to do this activity now. It is activity two, page 65. And this is the program for it. But let's look at the instructions. Okay. Program must ask for a person's name, surname, and year of birth as input data. Then they click when you click on the button display, the following information must be displayed in the memo. Day's date, date of the query, in other words, the date, the person's name and surname in capital letters, and the age of the person is going to be this year. Okay, so we have to calculate the age from the year they, that they were born in. Use function string to in copy into string uppercase date date to string. So let's do it quickly. First of all, let's get our variables. I'm going to use an integer for my year of birth and I'm going to use 52 strings here. Keep doing this. You have my edit boxes, never mind. Year of birth. Um, Display button is where we're going to declare our variables. There's no global variables involved here because we're only doing one thing in one place only, and that is this button click event. The reset button is just going to clear all of those edit boxes and the memo, mem output. So your output is there, the input of these three edit boxes. Double click display button. Let's declare some variables for those things. We have one for the first name. It's first another one for our variable for our surname another variable for our surname and then we have our age I'm going to make it an integer and let's see what happens all right so let's get the things from the edit boxes it's always a good idea the variables pull them up from our edit box Oh, before I go any further, I better do file save all here. I don't want that happening again. Edit your name. And then S B Edit surname dot text and R A shall be equal to string two int. Hopefully the person will definitely type in a number. Edit year dot text. Actually, I should change that R H to R Y O B year of birth. Right, so we change that variable now. They say we have to do things in the following order. We must display in the memo today's date. Right, before we go do anything else, let's go and do our memo mem output dot lines dot add and we're gonna put in today's date and it's like this date to string and in brackets the word date. Simple as that. Remember time to string the previous activity now it's date to string and Date is a reserved word in Delphi which returns today's date, the system date on your computer clock. Right, so that's that done. What's the next thing that we have to display? Person's name and surname in capital letters. So let's do that. Mem output dot lines dot add uppercase s first plus a space because otherwise it'll look stupid, plus uppercase is sir. And that's simple, and we have to close the brackets here, of course. Close the brackets. Here we introduced a space there. One string, plus another string, plus another string. That plus is actually a joining symbol there. It works as joining when you join two strings. Right, the next thing that we have to display is their age and how we're going to work out the age. So right, let's go work out the age here. We know that we're going to use date to string date. And guess what date to string date looks like? 
looks like this. If today's date is 15th of April, then it'll be 2020 forward slash 04 forward slash 15. That's what it's going to look like. It's going to look like that. 2020 forward slash 04 forward slash 15 or 23, whatever the date is. So if that is the case, then it means the first four digits of the date are going to be today's year. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to say I today's year. I'm going to store today's year in a variable called I today's year equals string to int open brackets copy from date to string date starting at the first character and copying four characters now that is quite a mouthful and i will re describe this to you i'm going to first instead of date to string date i'm going to call it s S date okay and then I'm gonna say S date equals date to the SDR and in brackets I'll put date right now remember I told you that is what today's date looks like well let's go and open an Excel spreadsheet quickly Computer's pretty slow. Anyway, so we're going to go and put in here <clears throat> very quickly. This was large, shall we? And then we make it center. Okay, now if I told you that this is what the date looks like 2020 forward slash 04 forward slash 23 uh, doesn't like the forward slash, you have to basically do that. Oh, four. And another forward slash, oops, and then two and three. Now this is what the date looks like as a string. Once you have got all your, or um, once you've converted day's date to a string, it'll look like that. And it has character numbers. And there are 10 characters. These are the character numbers of the string. Now there's a little function called copy. Remember functions on the right hand side of equal sign? We want to copy these first three, these first four, sorry, to get the year. So we're going to copy from this date oops, this date starting at character number one and how many characters are we going to copy four right let's go and just realign that quickly so we're copying from if this is s date say this is s date here yeah? where's s date remember where did we get s date we converted about this year. Put S date in. We converted the date. Today's date there. Converted today's date right there. Through that num that name date date returns today's date. We converted to a string using date to string, and we store it in a string called S date. So then. We're going to copy 
from is date the first character from the first character there's the one how many characters are we going to copy oh and that's going to return a string and yeah it's a function copy is a function returns a string on the right hand side of the sign of statement it's a function it returns a string so if we want to make it equal to our today's year we've got to say string to int and then we copy okay so from that now we're going to calculate we've got today's year and we've got the year of birth eh? we've got those two things so to get the age i'll make a variable to make it simpler for you i'm going to say our age is a variable say our age equals simple as this today's year you already got minus the year of birth our year of birth and there we have it the age and that's what they want us to put in the memo age equals space plus in to string our age there we go Now remember it works just like a rich edit. Yeah, we've got a string called age equals, then a plus sign joining, and then int to string, taking our age, converting it to a string. So that is the second thing. We're joining this string with that string. And we're putting in memo output.lines.add. Right, that's fine. Now what about the reset button? <clears throat> just simple. Clear all the edit boxes. I'm going to use copy and paste to save time. So we say edit name dot clear and edit surname dot clear and then edit uh, what's the other thing here edit year dot clear and then we want to mem output dot clear. And then we're going to set the focus on the first one. Let's set focus. Now you, you've done all of that before. That's a bit of revision there. So the new thing was the copy function. So there it was. Eh? Copy has three parameters and you've got to have an assignment statement there. Something equals. And it's a string. It's going to be a string. S something S something equals it has to be a string copy from S date starting at the first character and how many characters am I copy? That's the fourth one, that's the third parameter is one, two, three, four. So there you have three parameters. In your copy function. Now you must just memorize that. We'll quickly run it to see that it works. Oops, I have an error. Not enough actual parameters. Copy. Oh! Brackets in the wrong places. Yeah, I made a mistake. Copy. There's the three parameters in brackets. I'm so glad I made the mistake because then you'll learn something. So the three parameters in brackets, S date, one and a four, separated by commas. Right, so let's run it. John, go, and then year of birth, two, no, let's make it one, nine, nine, eight. How old will he be? Give me two. What if he was born in 1990? Five. Maybe twenty-five. Oh, I didn't reset my button. But never mind. Maybe twenty-five. Born in nineteen ninety-five. We was born in nineteen eighty-five. Then maybe thirty-five. Obviously, hey, eighty-five. Just play. There we go. Reset. Close. Thank you. And go. And code.